Hi, I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained and this is my good friend Jake from Make Science Fun. Hello my wonderful people. Today we're going to launch a rocket and we're going to launch a number of rockets Lots and rockets. in the process we're going to answer the age-old question How does a rocket fly in space if there's no air to push off? And so we're going to explore a whole bunch of rockets and we're going to show how they are work in terms of Newton's three laws. So Jake, tell me how this is going to work. Okay, so we've got a, a long string We've got the CO2 canister with a little tube on the top and basically there's a sharp point here and when this arm hits the CO2 canister it knocks the um, end off, the gas will rush out, the bottle pushes the gas that way and the gas pushes the rocket that way. That way. And that's <laughs> Newton's third law. Woohoo! So let's fire it off. Alright, are we ready? Three, two, one, way! Oh, it's just there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions a lot of students ask, does the ground have anything to do with launching the rocket? Well, I want to show you that the ground has nothing to do with it. Newton's third law says that rocket will push the water down, and therefore the water will push the rocket up. That's Newton's third law. The ground has nothing to do with it. So to prove that, I'm just going to lift this rocket up, and I'm going to remove the ground out of the equation. Let's launch. Go. Yep. So we started off with a CO2 rocket and a water rocket. That was pretty exciting, but let's scale things up a bit. Come in, Jacob. <laughs> drinking bottle rocket. Hey. Office drinking bottle rocket. Are we ready? Woo! So clearly we're going to need a little bit more force this time. Okay, all right. Let's pour in this water. That's it. All right, beautiful. Good. Okay, now we'll hammer in the um, rubber stopper. We'll have it like so. What's going to happen, Paul? Okay, again, what's going to happen is Newton's third law. That water is going to be pushed out by the rocket down. The water, as a result, will push the rocket up. Now, clearly, in this case, the rocket is much heavier. So Newton's second law says that its acceleration will be a little bit less. However, we're making sure that we can ally a lot more force to it with more water and obviously more gas as well. So let's see what happens. Okay. Ready? 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 <laughs> well, I clearly showed you. Hey, hey, hey. I clearly showed you Newton's second law there. <laughs> clearly, there was much more mass, not as much acceleration. So now we're going to launch the rocket at a 45 degree angle, roughly. And we've talked about Newton's second law and third law, but now let's talk about conservation of momentum. And so, as you know, the rocket is launched because the water is fired backwards and therefore the water pushes the rocket forwards. Well, let's talk about conservation of momentum. Currently, the total momentum of this system is zip nothing. And so, what should happen is that the total momentum stays the same. And so, as the rocket is launched that way, the water it goes in the opposite direction. So, the momentum of the rocket plus the momentum of the water combined equals zero because the initial momentum is also zero. So, let's have a look. Let's go! <coughs> Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Indeed. And I hope you can see that science can be fun. And also that we can... Explain the physics as well. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for watching and join us for next time. Okay. Bye for now. See us. I hope you found that video useful. And remember, like, share and subscribe. Oh, and if you have a comment or a question, or you'd like a concept for me to explain to you, please drop a comment down below. I'm Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.